Welcome to Tunisia. Today we're visiting Kirawan, the fourth most holiest city for the Muslim faith and major pilgrimage destination known for its impressive mosque. It's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site and filming location for the 1981 classic film Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Let's go check it out. This mosque was built in 671. We just stopped off in this cool little town. We are in this really cool town called Karawan, and we're gonna go check out this mosque. They're really famous for carpets here. Here, you can see them right here. Tunisian carpets and Berber carpets. The highlight of Kirwan is the Great Mosque, established in 670 AD. It's an architectural masterpiece that consists of its original building materials, and it's the oldest Islamic site in North Africa. The courtyard is surrounded by archways that open up to a vast prayer hall. The dome is an architectural element borrowed from Roman and Byzantine architecture. Kirwan is a walled city first erected around the Medina in the 7th century. Let's go explore some of the shops. So white means peace and blue is for the sky. So they're very common colors in the architecture. They make these beautiful Berber carpets here. The second time called Kilim. Berber Kilim. Berber. Oh, it is nice. Yeah. The woman, she stayed behind the loom and don't see the design. Mm -hmm. It is very, very difficult to make and very strong quality. Oh, so now I'll show you Berber carpet, thick wool, mm -hmm. with 20 kilos. <laughs> Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. All this lamb soul quality. Wow. There are lots here. Mm. And it, they are handmade. Wow. Ooh, yeah. Sheep wool. Sheep wool. From Kirawan, we drive an hour and a half to one of the best preserved Roman form temples in Tunisia called Shpetla. During the Roman Empire, this capital city achieved great prosperity due to its production of olive oil. Here we see the remains of how it was produced. With an axis and uh, an animal around and press the olives and get the oil, the olive oil. We are in the Roman town of Spetna. Right here is the forum. Roman Spetla was established at the beginning of the first century AD and later became a Byzantine regional military capital. The entryway to the forum is marked by a triple arched gate called Antonin Gate, built in AD 139. After the Roman Empire was split into parts. One in Rome and uh, another in uh, Constantinople. In uh, Constantinople, so we call it the Byzantines. What is now uh, Turkey and uh, invaded the ex-Roman cities here in Tunisia. When they get clashes with the Arab Muslims, they fortified in their way these towns, these cities. The three buildings are Jupiter, Juno, and Minerva. Minerva is the same as Athena in Greek, and Jupiter is the same as Zeus, god of gods. Okay, it's really windy here, but we're in some of the best preserved Roman ruins in North Africa. We had aqueducts that connected to the Atlas Mountains that brought water here. 
the Atlas Mountains are right behind me. You can't see them though. And we're only 50 kilometers from the Algeria border. The temple complex is massive and just walking around feels like we've stepped back into time. We are now inside the temple. We have uncovered the secrets of the Roman past in the Byzantine Empire. This is one of the largest Roman capital cities. These are the temples of Jupiter, Juno, and Minerva. Three temples, so well preserved. Behind the temples, we find the remains of the Roman baths, marked by the original mosaic floors. It's just incredible how much land the Romans covered all the way from Israel to Morocco, Italy, and here, Tunisia. Amphitheater. Amphitheater. What is it called? It's uh, Barlisu. Barlisu. After grabbing a quick lunch, it's time to continue our tour. We're touring Tunisia with off-season adventures. Check them out in the link in the description below. We just stopped alongside the road. They have lots of barbecue here. In there too. Hello Kitty is in the building. We hope that you enjoyed this look into Spetla and Karawan. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and stay tuned and subscribe because coming up next, we're taking you into the deserts of Tunisia.